I decided to do the MOSFET mod on the Winhow i3 Plus and I went with something different than most. Uh, the only ones that I had seen online were with the, with the i3 uh, version 2 and 2.1 and since this is a 20, the Plus is a 24 volt um, some of those didn't look like they would work because the MOSFET modules only supported 12 volts. So I found one online that supports 24 volts. This guy is huge. We're looking at minimum 40 amps support for the bed. Um, only problem is, is when I looked at the dimensions online, I misread. I thought it was 57 millimeters wide, not 67. The space between the display and the power supply is about 65 millimeters. So, if you try this, you either need to find a different MOSFET board or you need to do like I do and um, lightly trim the edge that has no components. It's just ground plane and it trims down quite quickly, actually. So, what was done is the MOSFET board, I added two mounting holes. Let's see if we can get some light on this. Two extra mounting holes inside the uh, control area. Uh, screwed that down. The line that used to go to the heating bed is here and that runs up to the control input on the MOSFET board. Then we have the heating bed that runs back around and goes out to the heating bed and we have a new power. 12, or 24 volts coming into this guy from the remaining screw terminals for the positive and negative coming off the power supply. What this battery on my camera went dead and I can't find the charger anywhere where it should be. So to my cell phone it is. Okay, so by moving, so by adding the MOSFET module, you're offloading uh, the overwhelming majority of the power that is being pushed to the hotbed through this MOSFET, leaving this little guy down here to just push a very, very tiny amperage to this control module. Um, and the power is routed directly from the power supply to the MOSFET, so you don't have the extra amperage running through the control board for the hotbed. That should resolve the issues with the hotbed, assuming it's wired correctly. Yes, I'm aware that I have red, or I have green, yellow, and brown wires, uh, and a black, um, being used for this. Electricity doesn't care what the color is, as long as it goes from the positive of the power supply to the positive of the MOSFET controller, etc. Okay, so I'm going to shut this off and tidy up by closing up the control panel and then we'll power it on and see how things look. Bed's heating to 40, which is what I normally use for PLA. And we're going to give it a test, make sure everything goes okay. At least there was no miswiring that went on and everything's set up. The MOSFET is controlling power since the bed is holding relatively steady, 39 to 40 degrees. And we'll give it a try with the hotter bed as soon as this finishes. Alrighty, well I just finished. Again, I keep the bed at 40 so I can touch it almost as soon as it finishes. We have the clip for the filament rolls is what my test print usually is because it takes like seven or eight minutes or so. Off real quick and then I'm going to heat the bed to 80 and see how it goes. Okay, I'm going to go in, start a preheat for ABS. Go ahead and turn this off and save you the pain of watching this shaky hand hold the camera until it gets up to 70. Hey, that's a 70 degree bed temp after the MOSFET swap. Yes, that is most definitely a fire extinguisher. It's called safety. It's also on a power bar just in case I don't have to reach around and turn it off. Should be safe when you make changes, especially physical or electrical changes. But it is holding at 69, 70 degrees, so the MOSFET is holding. Whether or not the original would have held, I honestly don't know, and for how long. 
This one could go up just as easily as the one on board, although I would hope not considering the power that it can support. If you're considering doing this, there's a warning. This does most definitely void the warranty. The two extra screw holes that are now in the control housing most definitely would be a giveaway. Um, there were wiring changes, although arguably you could do those without anybody noticing if you had to re swap it and return it. Um, but those screw holes are a dead giveaway. There are no exterior holes on the back side where you could run it through the back side and, not, and uh, do an external housing for the MOSFET. Uh, you could pull it through the side, possibly right there, and uh, actually fashion a little ABS housing that sits on the side to control the MOSFET. Uh, that was an option. I wanted everything contained, and uh, we'll see how it holds out. Until next time.